It's time for Ask the Love Coach with love and relationship coach, Michelle Fabrica. Hello. Thanks for joining me. I love getting your questions. Let's hear the next one. Michelle, our next letter is from a uh, man who talks about his love languages. He writes, Dear Michelle, I'm a divorced man in my 40s, and I've been in a relationship with a woman who's about my age. She told me that her first love language is words of affirmation. But frankly, I'm not clear on how to do it. Can you help me? Sign me verbally challenged. Well, first I want to say I am so glad you're talking about the five love languages in your relationship. And I'm guessing you Googled it and, uh, you know, found the book or the online quiz, which enables you and your partner to find out your top love languages. So if you haven't done that, do that first. <laughs> and in terms of words of affirmation, um, that one is essentially you are expressing things in words, either verbally or written form, like notes or something, texts count, things about your partner that you appreciate and enjoy. And so essentially, and this can be the way you feel about her. This can be about who she is in the world, who she is as your partner. These can be sexual things, things you enjoy experiencing with her, things about her body, et cetera. So it's good to first find out what does she want to be appreciated about and noticed about. And um, that's a great start. And you probably already know things that come up already in your mind, think, feelings and thoughts you have about her, uh, how beautiful she is, or how you can't wait to hug her, or you know you miss her smile, or you love it when she laughs at, in, in a certain way, a certain cute way, right? So these can be things that you can start noticing and you might want to write them down just to, to kind of jog your memory, to keep those around. And don't forget though, sometimes when we first start doing something new, we don't get it quite right. And so make sure she's willing to give you some slack about if you say something that doesn't land well for her, right? And she can give you feedback like, oh, I don't like you to compliment me about that. That doesn't feel good. Or I don't want you to notice this kind of thing about me. Great. So then you're learning, right? And you can get better at it over time. So essentially, it's about just practice, right? And um, uh, bring it, right? And see where it goes. To submit your question for Michelle, contact her at celebratingact2.com slash ask.